name's Zoe, and this is... Grampy Bob, and we live in Ontario, Canada. We watch T-J-V every day. Trucker Josh, thumbs up. Perfect in every way, man. Perfect. We're in America. Did you know this? We got into America last night. We're here in Grand Forks, North Dakota, just south of the border with Manitoba. So we made it down here last night yet. I wanted to get a little bit of a head start because it's a little over a day to Coralville, Iowa, where we're going to. So I made it just far enough yesterday so that I can do the rest today. So today, we're going from Grand Forks, North Dakota to Coralville, Iowa, which is 984 kilometers. Let me do some math here for you guys so I can speak American for you since we are in America. It's only polite. 984 divided by 1.61. 611 miles. So it's a full day. And we're going to be going, I think, about 60 mile an hour. Save some fuel. We're not in any really big rush, but we've got to unload first thing tomorrow morning, and then we don't have a reload yet, so I don't know, I don't know, I know what we've got to do yet, so I want, want to make sure I have an empty trailer available, and uh, I'll probably figure it out later on today. Let's get back at it, shall we? I'm going to quickly tug on my trailer a little bit, just to double, triple, quadruple check that nothing's going to go flying off into traffic. Like I've always said, that is highly embarrassing. And it's never happened to me, and I don't ever intend to let it. It's very dangerous. I've had people say before, give me a hard time. Why do you do a talk to us? All you got to do is crawl under there and look at it. I know I do that, but why would I want to stop at that? And I want to make sure my trailer's not going to fall off. It really doesn't matter how confident I feel. I always double check. Always. I just had that paranoia in me, you know? That's why I strap my loads down more than a lot of people do. So I double check things more than a lot of people do. I don't want to be that guy on YouTube that everyone's laughing at. I'm already that guy, but I don't want to be that guy for different, for those reasons. We left the Simonson Travel Center here on the north side of Grand Forks. We're gonna go to the south side of Grand Forks and just grab a quick coffee at the Flying J because they still got the best stuff that I know of. This place is hopping, as the kids say, right? I was just gonna park in front of the pumps, quickly run in, grab a coffee. The pumps are all full. So I don't wanna block a pump. I'll go find a parking spot. Ow, I bit my tongue when I said that. Well, the, the parking lot's not that busy. It's just all the pumps were busy at this moment. Just arrived at the right time. All right, but I thought you were coming this way. If you would have used your signal, I would have known which direction you were going, and I wouldn't have taken it so wide. But alas, we are all okay. The world did not end. We are okay. I'm gonna go park up front here. Quickly run in. I had some yogurt for breakfast today, so I don't need to grab any food. I try to have smaller breakfasts, breakfasts, a uh, decent sized lunch and a bigger supper. I know that's not exactly the recommended healthiest way of eating, but I'm not really that hungry in the mornings. It's a nice peat right there, eh? That yellow one. I'm just gonna straighten out here so I'm gonna park it all crooked and trife. I'm all crooked. Okay, let's, let's straighten her out here. Straighten her out. Straighten her out. I don't want to end up on someone's YouTube channel. Look how these people park. I think I'm straight. 
the lines are all covered by snow. Whatever. I'm gonna be five minutes. Sue me. This day, for whatever reason, just feels like it's just dragging on. It feels like the first day back on the road, but I already started yesterday. I guess it's the first full day on the road. I just feel like I'm just more tired than usual. And the day seems to be just taking longer than usual. That's how every first day is. Everyone's going faster than me. We still have six hours left on my clock. Isn't that right? Oh, six hours left. Five hours and 57 minutes. I don't think I'm going to make it that far. I could stop here now already, but the time's only, what, 5.30 in the afternoon? So if I stop now, I mean, I've got to get up at like 4 in the morning. I may as well push it a little bit further, at least get past Minneapolis. We're just coming up to Minneapolis here. I've had two coffees today already, and it just doesn't seem to be working. When I woke up this morning, I felt like I hadn't gotten a full night's sleep. I felt like I had slept for, you know, like a, like a good six, seven hours, maybe eight hours, but I did actually sleep for like nine hours. And I'm doing fine, like I'm not that tired. Maybe just lazy. Maybe that's a better way to say it rather than tired. I'm not tired, I'm just sort of lazy. I just, you know, I could have stopped, gone for a walk. Ah, just didn't feel like it today. Because I haven't been eating the best since the Christmas holidays, I still haven't corrected my diet. And when you eat badly, it usually makes you feel this way. So I have to get back on track with that. Also very anxious to uh, see what happens now with Britt and the pregnancy. Or see if she does get pregnant. We won't know for another for another while yet, but hope everything goes well. So we're a little north of Owatonna, Minnesota. Left on. CR 46 and then approaching destination on the left side in 110 meters. This is the flying day we always stop at after picking up glass in Owatonna. Oh, when it's busy right now. Oh, fantastic. Shoot. It's a bit of a chaotic parking lot here. It was not built properly. Probably when it was built, I'm guessing uh, they weren't expecting it to become so busy one day. Well, we gotta get some fuel. It's very hard for us to get anywhere without fuel and we're running a little low. I'm not gonna have to put any winter uh, anti-gel additive in this time because we're going south. I have a reload now and uh, that reload, okay this is very confusing. Why are you stopping there man? There you go. See you got the right of way. Proceed to the highlighted route. Is this where we go? I have no idea. Arrived at your destination on the right side. Flying J Travel Plaza number 576. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go right in here. I don't want to drag my trailer over the pumps. I'm gonna cut it nice and wide without hitting this guy. It's always chaos here. Well, yeah, we're uh, my reload is in Illinois. So it's gonna get warmer before it gets colder. So I don't need to put any anti-gel additives in my fuel today. So we made it down here to Albert Lee, Minnesota, right at the border with Iowa. Uh-uh, we're going to the right. One of this big Petro. Let's spend the night here. It's a little cold tonight. So I wanna make sure that I stop at a place like this where I can get help if my truck decides it doesn't wanna run anymore in the middle of the night. They got this big truck service center here. It's a big parking lot. There'll be plenty of parking. And 
It's about three and a half hours to our customer from here. I have all day tomorrow to deliver this lumber. I don't need to be there at any specific time. I'll be there as early as I can, obviously. But uh, then I got another four hours from there down to my next customer where I only got to be there the following morning at 10 a.m. So I got plenty of time. We're gonna take her easy. Lots of parking here, that's fantastic. Hoping I can find a spot where uh, <clears throat> I can be out of the way with no neighbors. Make a U-turn if possible. Because I like neighbors. I'm a neighborly neighbor. But when I'm trying to sleep, is this dad? Dad, is that you? No, that's not dad. Dad's up in Alberta, what am I talking about? The truck was just like dad's. So it says no parking there, so I won't park there then, okay. Yeah, this place is ginormous. It's like one of those big trucker malls almost. The building's off to the right here. The front of it's facing away from us, so it's not, it doesn't look as fancy from back here, but trust me, it's fancy. Where am I going to park? I don't want to park too far away from the building. paying to park either. You know what I'm saying? One of these spots off to the left would be perfect. I think my body is fighting something off, like a, a small cold or something. That's probably why I felt a little tired today. I feel my body's fighting something. But, well, that's another one of the reasons we're stopping early tonight. I'm gonna get a good night's rest here and hopefully sleep it off. Man, it's full. It's only what, eight o'clock? Quarter after eight? What, are you guys all doing off the road already? Hey. I can park. I'd like to park in one of these spots along to the left because then it's not as likely that you're gonna get backed into because these spots on the right, you know, there's plenty of spots open, but that's because you got to blindside it in there. It is a little angled, so it makes it a little easier, but knowing that you got to blindside it in there, like I trust myself to get in there. I don't trust the people who are gonna come in after me. You got to park defensively. That's how I, that's what, that's what I call it. Defensive parking. You gotta park in a spot that gives you a high probability of not getting backed into. I would have taken that spot, but the guys ahead of me. Oh, this spot right here is open. Nope, that guy's got straight pipes. I don't wanna park beside him. He has his truck idled right up too because the weather's cold, so I'd have to fall asleep with that bum the whole time. I park right in here beside this red Volvo and hope that whoever decides to park beside me will be quiet. All right. Oh, it feels good. Stopped for the night. We didn't go very far today at all. I should have a little bit further to go tomorrow, but oh, it's okay. I'm tired. So, uh, how's your guys' how's your your guys' how's your day going there, guys and gals? Diesel. You ready to stop for night two? I'm gonna set up the bed back there. We're going to bed straight. I'm gonna read a little bit. And then we're going straight to bed. No, we're not doing a pre-trip, we're doing a post-trip here. Let the world know that we are parked for the night. Send in my paperwork, and just like that. You have three hours and 29 minutes of remaining drive time. Oh, I know, I know, but we're not gonna use it. We'll save it. Too bad we can't add that onto tomorrow's day. <laughs> That'd be nice. So yeah, thanks for joining me today. Today was a little bit of a short day. Uh, not much filming done, but it's, it's like I said, my, I think I'm fighting something off because I'm more tired than I should be. Hopefully we'll feel better tomorrow. 
and it's not just like you know getting ready to peak tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. We do make a new video pretty much every day. Every day while we're on the road anyways, and uh, we gotta deliver in Coralville, Iowa tomorrow, and then we go down to, where are we going again? Where in Illinois? It is in Litchfield, Illinois. I believe that's in Southern Illinois. Let me check for you real quick here. Litchfield, Illinois. Come on, Google, learn me. <clears throat> okay, it's a little northeast of St. Louis on US Interstate 55. Small town, Litchfield. They have a Walmart right on. A little airport there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Looks like a nice little town. And I don't even know what we what we're picking up there. I think it's some kind of lumber, but we don't need to tarp it, so there's that. And it's going to Carberry, Manitoba, which is in southwest Manitoba. Apparently, I can deliver it on the weekend. So if they're available to unload me Sunday, it means I'll pick it up Friday morning, drive most of Friday, drive Saturday, unload Sunday, then go home for Sunday night. That's the plan. But these videos are a little bit behind. They're at least a week behind, so by that time, who knows where I'll be. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm tired. Let's let's set up this bed. Have I got to walk Diesel yet? <sighs> Good night.